Welcome to the Class of 2020 Scholarship Awards Ceremony. I am Liz McDonald, the Scholarship Chair. The Scholarship Committee has been working hard since February, both face-to-face -face and remotely. In January, students filled out applications. We reviewed them and made selections over a two-month period. I would like to acknowledge and thank the Scholarship Committee for their time, which is completely volunteer and unpaid. They are doing the presenting today. Wayne Remy, Jill Morris, Jen Sullenberger, and Myra Perez, our senior counselors and assistant principal, Joe Niagara, representing the English department, Michelle Alderazi, representing world languages, John Snow, math, Teresa Diamond, science, myself, chair, and representing the social studies department. In addition, I would like to thank Susan Gretto, our bookkeeper for the computer tabulations. This is a big job, and we could not have done it without you. Of course, our biggest thank, to, thank you goes to our donors. Today, 203 students will receive scholarships worth almost $400,000. They will become part of the legacy of our scholarship program, which will celebrate its 98th year this year and is the largest in our area. We honor the winners, and we ask them to continue not only along the path towards excellence, but also to give back, as did the Bedrosians, the Comboys, the Bells, the Padulas, and the Londons, and more. We are grateful for all the memorial scholarships. These donors truly know what it means to have the memory of their loved ones represented in a young person. People support Upper Darby, and it shows each and every year. Thank you, donors. Please follow along with the program as it has been made available. Scholarship certificates have been mailed home today to the winners with information about how much your scholarship is for and next steps. These next steps include emailing me with your college choice by June 4th and thanking our donors. Superintendent McGarry will present the first scholarships to Mendenhall Tyson. Dr. McGarry. Good evening. Uh, all of you that are, are joining us virtually tonight, it's a, a great honor and a privilege to be a part of this uh, time honor tradition here in the Upper Darby School District. Um, while I know we, could, we would like to be together, uh, we have continued to try to do our best as a school district to provide as much meaningful um, celebrations of the students here in the school district. I have the privilege um, of announcing probably one of the most prestigious awards uh, and scholarships here in the school district, the Mendenhall Tyson Scholarship. The Mendenhall Tyson Scholarship is a living memorial to two former superintendents of the Upper Darby School District, Hendrickson Mendenhall and John Tyson, who together gave 36 years of quality leadership to the Upper Darby School community. The Mendenhall Tyson Scholarship is our high school's most prestigious award. The criteria for this scholarship are rank and class, force of character, leadership, and service to school. This year, the Mendenhall Tyson Foundation is pleased to award four scholarships. The winners are Emily Fedden, Christopher Dwyer, Sarah DeMott, and Tarana Anana. Congratulations to all of you and to your families and to all the teachers who've been behind you helping you get to this point today. Thank you. With the Upper Darby Union Sunday School Scholarship. Since 1922, Upper Darby graduates have received this award. It is the high school's longest standing scholarship. The Upper Darby Union Sunday School Association was established in 1863. For the next 50 years, that organization of young people devoted themselves to religious work and Christian principles. Although dissolved in 1912, its treasury has placed in trust to establish an annual scholarship for UD graduates. Tina Fey was once a recipient of this scholarship in 1988, and this year's recipients are Esther Akande, Cecilia Long, and Sarah Sullivan. UDEA and Retired Teacher Scholarships. The winner of this scholarship must be going into education and exhibit integrity, service to school and community, and a good class rank. 
It is funded by the contributions from every teacher at the Upper Darby School District. Upper Darby's retired teachers contribute to a fund for books. The awards this year go to Gabriella Liberio. The Upper Darby Historical Society Scholarship. The Upper Darby Historical Society is a nonprofit corporation dedicated to preserving the township's history and to educating its residents. The basis of their award is scholarship, community service, and an interest in history and majoring in areas related to social studies. This year, the scholarship goes to Mixilis Salomo. The Upper Darby Wall of Fame Scholarship. This scholarship is given by members of the Upper Darby Wall of Fame to encourage UD graduates to be all they can be, work hard, and follow their dreams. The recipient of this scholarship is Rowan Ahmed. The Villanova University High School Scholarship. Each year, Villanova awards a scholarship to an Upper Darby student matriculating at Villanova in appreciation for field placements of student teachers and counseling interns. The award is based upon academic promise and service to the high school. And this year's recipient is Ahmed Abdagalil. The Daughters of Penelope Scholarship. The Daughters of Penelope is a philanthropic organization which promotes good citizenship and patriotism for the United States. For over 30 years, it has awarded a scholarship to a student of Greek descent who demonstrates quality academic standards. The winner this year is Paraskevi Nakos. Step-by-step -step learning center scholarships. Veronica Crisp, class of 1975 and owner of step-by-step -step learning centers wishes to support the school and community that has been so good to her. She will honor four students, all of whom are planning to pursue a degree in early education. They are Fedmeen Charles, Cinnamon Duff, Christian Smith, and Natalie Marker. Delaware County Community College Scholarship Challenge Scholarship. Several years ago, a member of the Delaware County Community College's Foundation Board challenged our community to match his monetary gift to sponsor students going to Delaware County Community College. The scholarship committee and current donors to our fund matched his generous offer. Today, we're giving $1,000 to 10 students who will attend Delaware County Community College. They are Sherelle Freeman, Edgar Fuentes Coto, Brandon Hong, Luis Sandoval, Alexis Cruz, Mia Doe, Matthew Renix, Linus Gidio, Brianna Maldonado, and Jordan Hale. It is my honor and pleasure to present the Joseph Batori Scholarship to Aisha Omer, an academic achiever and outstanding member of Upper Darby High School's Class of 2020. Aisha has been a wonderful addition to the Upper Darby School District since arriving in the USA from Pakistan. Beginning in sixth grade, she has excelled at Beverly Hills Middle School and then became a top-notch student at Upper Darby High School. It is very impressive to me that Aisha has been accepted by six prestigious universities. So I have little doubt that no matter which university she chooses, that Aisha will be well on her way to a very successful career in health services. It is with delight and with my very best wishes that I award the Joseph Batori Scholarship to Aisha Omer, so well deserved. Congratulations. Good evening, students, teachers, family members, and Liz McDonald. My name is Dr. Ned Bedrosian, and I'm here in my Drexel office, happy to present the Bedrosian Family Scholarship in a virtual manner during this pandemic. The Bedrosian Family Scholarship is dedicated to my grandparents who immigrated to the United States in the early 1900s, shortly before the pandemic of 1918. They came here seeking a better education 
and a better life here in America. The Pedrosian Family Scholarship is given to two students who show excellence in scholarship, community service, and leadership. So congratulations go to Judith Colt and Adrian Locke. I wish you well during this pandemic. Stay healthy and good evening. Good evening. My name is Steve Bell. I am proud to sponsor a scholarship in support of a deserving student from the class of 2020. I'm a UD graduate, class of 1974. I'm a first generation college graduate and was fortunate to be able to come back to Upper Darby High School in 1991 for a rewarding career as a teacher, counselor, and coach. It is my honor to present this scholarship to another first generation college student, Dylan Blue. In recognition of his achievement in the study of French language and culture, the Bilgatai Family Scholarship in French is awarded to Andrew Malik Dumas. Félicitations, Andrew. Good evening to all the parents, guardians, grandparents, and friends out there who have supported these young people in the process of their education. Congratulations and thank you very much. Now, to you young people, I want to say your education is the best gift that you can give to yourself. It cannot be taken from you. It cannot wear out. It will always be a part of you. Your education is something that you should work hard at, study faithfully, have goals, and enjoy the journey. Congratulations. The Loretta V. Bushar Scholarship, I'm proud to announce, goes to Tamaris Sapola. And thank you very, very much. The Carr Family Albert Jackson Soccer Scholarship. This scholarship is given by the Carr Family to honor longtime Upper Darby soccer coach Albert Jackson. Mr. Jackson was an All-American goalie at Temple. It was his inspiration that led David Carr to coach soccer for 15 years in his hometown near San Francisco, California. This year's winner is Kevin Campoverde Yari. The Joanne Christopher Scholarship. This scholarship honors the 25-year counseling career of Joanne Christopher at Upper Darby High School and Drexel Hill Middle School. She especially liked working with the ELL students and would like to support an ELL student taking the next big step of going to college. This year's winner is Yasmeen Actor. The Larry Flood Blue Collar Player Award. This scholarship honors a soccer player and coach at Upper Darby. Larry Flood was one of the hardest working people ever to play at Upper Darby. This award is given to a soccer player who lived his life like Larry, was a good student and a good person. This student is Majid Kawa. The Laura P. Patterson Scholarship. Laura Patterson taught in the business ed department for many years and was also the department chair. For more than 20 years, Laura served on the scholarship committee. Since 1997, she has honored many retired colleagues by giving a scholarship in the retiree's name. Today, we recognize Laura herself for her generosity and loyalty. The winner of her scholarship is Etwa Ibitali. The John Grube Track Scholarship. John Grube taught social studies at Drexel Hill Middle School for 36 years and was a coach of many things, especially track here at the high school. He set up this scholarship to inspire and honor track athletes at Upper Darby for their dedication and hard work. The winner of this year's scholarship is someone who possesses both of those attributes. And she is Siani Barnes. I am pleased to present the Javada Hill Living Legend Scholarship for Excellence in the Community and Creativity to Maria Castillo Jimenez. Congratulations. Ayacavela Family Girls Soccer Scholarship. This scholarship is given to a female soccer player who has 
been recommended by her coach. This scholarship is a way for the Iacovella family to give back to the Upper Darby School District, which has given them so much. This year's recipient is Haley Campbell. The Jackson Family Scholarship. The members of the Jackson family are lifelong supporters of Upper Darby. Mr. and Mrs. Jackson went to the high school and all three children were three letter athletes, strong students and leaders here. The family was instrumental in funding our first all weather track. This year, the scholar athlete Jackson Family Scholarship winner is Allison Oscarreggi. The Gisela Klein Scholarship. Gisela Klein ran the UDHS College and Career Center for 20 years and served as the high school's college and career coordinator. She was an enthusiastic supporter of the performing and visual arts programs at UDHS. The winner of her scholarship has excelled in the performing arts. She is Allison Buchanan. The Conrad Fisher Science and Track Scholarship. I established this award in honor of Conrad Fisher and his contribution to the athletics program at Upper Darby High School and the academic program focusing on science. This award is intended to recognize an athlete who's also very good at science and interested in pursuing a career in that. And it's especially recognized Mr. Fisher's mentorship as coach and as teacher in all that he did at Upper Darby High School. The winner is Damian Gauld. The Greg Lingo Scholarship. Greg Lingo received a scholarship when he graduated from Upper Darby in 1990. Ever since then, he wanted to give back with his own scholarship. He owns a, re a real estate development and consulting business, Cornell Homes, named for his collegiate alma mater, and is recently a film producer. The chief criteria for his scholarship is strength of character. The winner this year is Christine Sue. The London Group Scholarship. This scholarship was established by the four London brothers and their sister-in-law, all of whom were outstanding students here at Upper Darby in the late 70s and early 80s. It is given to a member of the National Honor Society who, like them, exhibits outstanding achievement. These six students are in the top of their class academically, and they are Nina Hoback, Anika Islam, Catherine Vivo, Emily Lehman, Nashida Sarker, and Luke Finley. The Liz McDonald Humanities Scholarship. To honor Liz when she retired from teaching and supervising after 48 years, friends and colleagues across the school district contributed to a scholarship in her name for a student who has an interest or shown excellence in the humanities. The winner of her scholarship is Anthony Flaminio. The Elisa Nelson Scholarship. Elisa Nelson was an energetic, empathetic, enthusiastic guidance counselor who devoted her entire 35-year career to Upper Darby High School. She initiated the Random Acts of Kindness program here and always took seriously her goal of knowing and supporting each of her students. The winner of her scholarship is someone who cares about others and enjoys people and spreading kindness. This year's winner is Marguerite Thompson. The Frederick Nichols Scholarship. This scholarship is given by a former student and member of his high Q team to honor Fred Nichols, a great teacher of AP US history. Fred taught his students how to think critically about history and they routinely achieved the highest grade of five on the AP test. For the student exhibiting an excellence in history or the social studies, this scholarship goes to Zane Riaz. The Padula Family Scholarships. Dr. Richard T. Padula was president of the class of 1953 and his wife, class of 54, gives these two scholarships in honor of him. It is considered a family scholarship because as many as 25 of their children and grandchildren in the extended family have benefited from an Upper Darby education. 
The winners this year of the Padula Family Scholarships are Amina Beg and Mohammed Hasib. The Paul Roth Mathematics Scholarship. Paul Roth retired from Upper Darby in 2009 after 35 years of continuous service in the math department, where he taught all the courses offered. Currently, Mr. Roth tutors at Newman College, and we miss his fine wit and wonderful math expertise. The winner of his scholarship is Bakhter Riza. The Lynn Rubenfeld Language Scholarship. Lynn Rubenfeld was a Spanish teacher at UD for 30 years. She served as district supervisor of the World Languages Department Chair. Under her watch, Mandarin, the Spanish Honor Society, and the World Languages Celebration were all started. This scholarship goes to a person who has a passion for language, and the winner is Lana Abudari. The Upper Darby Arts and Education Foundation Scholarship. The Upper Darby Arts and Education Foundation wishes to present a scholarship to a member of its service club who has shown exemplary scholarship and service to the work of the foundation. This year's recipient is Tanzila Riaz. The Upper Darby Football Alumni Boosters Scholarship. This scholarship is given to participating football players or manager, and they have good class rank. The Football Boosters and Alumni Group give these scholarships. The winners are Delva Jean-Baptiste and Christopher Hermley. The Upper Darby Township Square Club Scholarship. This scholarship was introduced in 1989 by the Upper Darby Township Square Club, a Masonic organization which helps the needy and the youth of the township. This fraternity has assisted hundreds of individuals, families, and business owners within the township during an emer any emergency, such as fires, floods, and storms. The fraternity also supports the Upper Darby Police and Fire Departments. The winner of the club scholarship this year is Lamia Mim. The Arlene Sarley Scholarship. Arlene Sarley was a beloved guidance counselor and teacher here at Upper Darby for 25 years. She was optimistic, encouraging, and compassionate. Arlene believed anyone who worked at learning could find ways to serve and help others. The winner of her scholarship is Jeron Sige Renault. The James Spencer Chemistry Scholarship. Jim Spencer taught chemistry here for many years and was the faculty advisor for the Honor Society. He has left money to Upper Darby to honor one of the best science or chemistry students in the senior class. The winner of this scholarship is Mohammed Azad. Hello, this is Harry Dietzler. On behalf of the Upper Darby Summer Stage Program and the Fill the World with Love Fund, I'm very pleased to present the Fill the World with Love Scholarship to Evelyn Moosbrugger. Congratulations, Evelyn and congratulations to all of our wonderful seniors. The Todd Wagner Scholarship. Todd Wagner began his Spanish teaching career here at Upper Darby in 1972, retiring after 33 years. He served as program coordinator for the World Language Department as well as district supervisor. We honor him for these things as well as serving on the scholarship committee for over 20 years. His scholarship goes to a student who loves world languages and travel. This student is Violet Lang. The Judith A. Cuff Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is given in Judy's memory, a 1979 graduate of Upper Darby, by her family and a sister-in-law who won the scholarship in 1988. The winner must be a member of the Marching Royals in the Woodwind section, and this year the winner is Haley Wilcox. The Ellen M. Barnett Memorial Scholarship. Ellen Barnett graduated Upper Darby High School in 1933. She was a member of the Acorn newspaper in the Latin and history clubs. High school days were some of her favorite days. The winners this year are Nasrath Jahan, Mary Molakela, Amanatun 
Misa. Riley Shanahan. Tasnia Anana. And Reza Sadike. Good evening. My name is Steve Bell. This year I have the honor of presenting two scholarships that have been combined for one deserving student athlete. The Roy T. Bell Senior Memorial Scholarship is awarded in memory of my father, who was a 1947 graduate of Upper Darby High School and proudly wrestled for the purple and gold. He introduced my brother and me to the sport in the early 70s and the wrestling line continued to this his many nephews, grandsons, and now great-grandchildren. My father believed that the qualities developed through wrestling, hard work, sacrifice, and self-reliance stay with you through life. The Jesse Mariani Memorial Scholarship is awarded in memory of Jesse, an Upper Darby graduate class of 2006, who tragically died in 2015. This scholarship is intended for a wrestler who is friendly and kind. Jesse was known for helping others and the ability to put a smile on your face. This year's recipient exemplifies the qualities of both of these men. It was a bittersweet year for this young man since injury prevented him from competing on the mat his senior year. That didn't stop him from supporting the team and contributing his leadership as captain. It is my great pleasure to present the Roy T. Bell Senior Memorial Scholarship and the Jesse Mariani Memorial Scholarship to Kevin Kerwood. Good evening. My name is Kelsey Beerling. Some of you may know me as Mrs. Beerling, the English teacher. Others know me as Mrs. Beerling, the track coach. Uh, four people know me as mom. 23 years ago, I was blessed with the gift of my first daughter, Madison. Uh, she was welcomed and loved by everyone, including my track girls here at Upper Darby, um, as I was the girls' track coach at the time. 22 years ago, my family suffered the insufferable loss of Madison to violence when she was murdered by our babysitter. It not only changed myself and my family forever, but it greatly affected the girls that I coached. Instead of dwelling on our loss, my family set out to honor Madison's memory. Money was raised for an all-weather track here at Upper Darby and for a yearly scholarship in Madison's name. Each year, a member of the girls' track team, who also has participated in cross-country or indoor track during their junior and their senior years, um, is asked to apply for the Madison Beerling Memorial Scholarship. It is a $1,000 scholarship, and they have to write an essay about how important track is to them, which makes perfect sense because I'm an English teacher. This year's winner, I'm proud to announce, is Jenaba Koenig. Congratulations, Jenaba. The Bramal Judd Art and Music Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is given to someone who has competency in math and an avid interest in artistic endeavors. The brilliant contemporary artist, Donald Judd, credits his math teacher, Dr. Raymond Bramal, here at Upper Darby for instilling in him a love of logic and clarity and confidence in his own abilities. The scholarship is given by Dr. Bramal's daughter, and the winner is Daniel Carvente. Hi, we're the Brown family. We're here to talk about the Sharita Brown Memorial Scholarship Fund. My name is Ed Brown. This is Edward, Elijah, and Sierra. We decided to do this scholarship in the, to honor the legacy of Sharita Brown because she education was so important to her. She worked at Pierce College for 25 years and she instilled the value of education in her children. They continue to achieve today based on how important education was to her. We'd like to dedicate this scholarship to an, um, a worthy student in Upper Darby of $500, and this will be an annual award. We're very proud to do this. Congratulations to Morgan Berno, the winner of the award for this year. Thank you. Hello, good evening. My name is Kimberly Convoy. I am a former Upper Darby graduate, class of 2011. Go Royals. I wanted to first start off by saying congratulations to all graduating seniors, class of 2020. I know this year is a little different, but congratulations, you've already made it. And I wish you all the best of luck in whatever you may pursue. 
I'm here tonight to present to you the James P. Convoy Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship was started in honor of my pup up. My pup up was my best friend. My pup up loved history. He was a Boy Scout. He fought in World War II. He was a paratrooper. He then went on to raise five children, one of them including my dad, and many grandchildren. I know that you, Isabella Desco, will honor my pup up very well in taking this scholarship. I wish you, Isabella, best of luck next year in whatever you may pursue, and all of this graduating class of 2020, best of luck. Go Royals. The Greg Crichton Memorial. Greg Crichton was a member of the class of 1996 here at Upper Darby. He was very well liked and an active four-year member of the Marching Royals. The winner of his scholarship must emulate Greg in his dedication to the band and is reliable and dependable. The winner is Mia Yako. The James Joseph Croce Memorial. The James Joseph Croce Memorial Scholarship is awarded to a student who has been an active member and leader in the Upper Darby Decca Club. Jim Croce, class of 1960, is remembered for his famous folk songs in the 70s. He also was the first member of our Wall of Fame. Tonight, we, the recipient of his scholarship is Duncan McConnell. The Nancy Rose Wilson Garrison Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship has been established by Mrs. Garrison's four very successful children, all of whom graduated from Upper Darby High School. They attribute their accomplishments to the unflagging enthusiasm and constant encouragement she offered to them. The winner of the scholarship this year is Roshni Ohai. The Rebecca Grand Two Thumbs Up Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is given in memory of Rebecca Grand, loving daughter, sister, and friend, who graduated from Upper Darby in 2011. Rebecca attended Johns Hopkins University, where she studied civil engineering. Her love of music, running, and life was always evident in her smile, laugh, and energy. Two thumbs up was her positive signal when greeting you or saying goodbye. Her scholarship this year goes to Riza Sharif. The Sharon Goosh Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is given to honor the memory of Sharon Goosh by her friends and family. Sharon taught second grade at Highland Park for over 30 years. She was known for her enthusiastic spirit, her sense of humor, her love of teaching and her students, and devotion to her friends. Her scholarship goes to someone who is going into teaching, and that is B'nai Green. The Richard Hadfield Memorial Scholarship. Rich Hadfield was a member of the National Honor Society and excelled at sports. He played football, wrestling, and baseball here at Upper Darby while serving as class president for three years. This scholarship given in his memory by his family is awarded to a scholar athlete. The winner this year is Toby Lee. The Elizabeth Horenza Memorial Scholarship. Elizabeth Horenza taught in the high school art department for 25 years before retiring in 2014. Her passion for her students led her to start the art club, as well as our current chapter of the National Art Honor Society. She created our sculpture studio course and taught all the art courses offered, including AP art. Today, the art department, her family and friends, honor her work at Upper Darby by giving a scholarship to someone who will attend art school. The winner is Helen Vo. The John Harms Memorial Scholarship. John Harms was an excellent student and soccer star here at Upper Darby and returned to teach at Clifton Heights Junior High and Drexel Hill Middle School. One of his most rewarding projects was to supervise the television studio at Drexel Hill. This scholarship given in his memory by his family is awarded to someone who served the school in a technological way. The winner is Darren Healy. The Vernon Hilbert Memorial Scholarship. Vern Hilbert was a beloved member of the Upper Darby High School Math Department for th over 30 years. He was a brilliant man who sponsored High Q, the chess club, and was a member of Mensa and a grandmaster of chess himself. He loved to play tennis and challenged students and teachers to matches on the Upper Darby courts. His winner must show superior work in mathematics, and this year the winner is 
Gregory Mostek. The Marvin Jaffe Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship honors Dr. Marvin Jaffe. He was principal of Upper Darby High School from 1971 to 1981. He oversaw the completion of the then new wing, which is our current high school entrance. He was a great leader and curriculum innovator. Dr. Jaffe is credited with starting the house system and an evening alternative school, which became a national model. All of his children are involved in education and his son-in-law taught at Upper Darby High for several years. For a successful student who has overcome adversity, tonight we honor Olivia Kelly. The Thomas Jays Memorial Scholarship. Thomas Jays came to the United States from England in the 1880s. He worked for several companies in the machinery business until he founded his own very successful company. This scholarship is given by his daughter and granddaughter, both of whom went to Upper Darby. It goes to a student who will study business or attend a technical school. This year's winner is Audrey Shaw. The Leslie Joachim Memorial Scholarship is given to a student who emulates the qualities of my mother who taught Spanish at Upper Darby High School for many years. Her love of teaching Spanish and her students gave her a chance to spread the appreciation of other cultures. This year's recipient of the Leslie Joachim Memorial Scholarship is Danielle O'Brien. Congratulations, Danielle. The Lauren Jacqueville Memorial Scholarship. At UDHS, class of 2000, and Arcadia, class of 2004, Lauren poured her heart into becoming the kind of educator who could help students achieve their own dreams. Lauren's dedication to her family, peers, teachers, and her faith made her a wonderful daughter, a cherished sister, and a good friend. The winner of this year's scholarship is Angela Catlett. The John Lacey Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship perpetuates the memory of a scholar athlete who graduated with the class of 2000 and whose life was cut tragically short while studying at Widener. It goes to a student who exhibits courage, effort, and resiliency. This year's winner is Sade Chavus. The Ruth Longacre Memorial Scholarship. Ruth Longacre was a health and physical education teacher at Beverly Hills Middle School who encouraged her students to succeed. A scholarship is given in her memory to a former Beverly Hills student who is generous, loyal, and planning to major in a helping profession at college. This year, the scholarship goes to Farah Khan. The Monet Ragsdale Mabry Memorial Scholarship. Monet Mabry lost her life in a fire in her freshman year at Upper Darby High School. While here, she was in the marching band and concert choir and was a Girl Scout who earned her silver award. The winner of her scholarship who emulates her qualities this year is Shanisha McGuire. The Allen and Marion McDiarmid Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship honors two remarkable people who shared a passion for lifelong learning. Marion worked in the library at the high school and was the head librarian at Drexel Hill Middle School. Allen was a renowned chemist who won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 2000. This scholarship is given by their family and it goes to Violet Nguyen. The Dennis McNamara Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is given by Dennis's colleagues in the Upper Darby Police Department in memory of a man who strove to be the best in his field and in his life. The scholarship goes to a hardworking, community-oriented student planning to further education in music or the arts. This year's winner is Daniel Eep. The Martha Menz Memorial Scholarship. Martha Menz served the Upper Darby School District for 40 years, first as an American Studies teacher at the high school and then as a professional developer who supervised the Center for the Enhancement of Teaching. Her last 20 years, Martha was the director of curriculum. Known throughout the Delaware Valley as the consummate professional, her scholarship winner this year is Joseph Ritchie. The Richard Maurer Senior Memorial Scholarship this scholarship is given in memory of Richard Maurer Sr., a lifelong member of the Upper Darby community and graduate of Upper Darby Schools. 
Rich was a strong athlete and took great pride in attending his children's athletic games. All three of his children were students of the Upper Darby School District as well. His life was characterized by his love of family and friends. His bright smile and quick wit, love of sports, and all things Penn State. The winner of his scholarship this year is Abigail Steveline. The Wayne Norton Memorial Scholarship. Wayne Norton taught horticulture at Upper Darby High School, Williamson Trade School, and Lehigh County Technical School. This scholarship was set up by family and friends to continue his positive influence on students who enjoy horticulture or have attended technical school. The winner this year is Isaiah McSween. I'm Kelly King O'Brien, and I am proud to introduce the Thomas G. O'Brien Memorial Scholarship on behalf of my father. Here are a few pieces of advice I think Thomas G. O'Brien would impart in the midst of this crisis. He was a successful scientist and a kind, quiet, and brilliant father. He would say, most people are good. Yes, perhaps some bad people exist out there, but my dad told me that most people are good, and that stuck with me. My dad prized education, and I hope this scholarship helps you in your journey of gaining knowledge and becoming a good citizen of the world. He would say, you don't have to have your life all figured out right now. You might change your mind, your interests might shift, and that's okay. Finally, the most crucial lesson my dad taught me, learn how to think for yourself. Although you have much information at your fingertips and many opinions from family and friends, try to figure out what you think, who you are, and what matters to you. Never stop learning in whatever form that takes. Congratulations. The winner is Catherine Chu. The Harry and Lori Olenek Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship established in memory of Harry and Lori Olenek goes to an EL student who will be studying at Delaware County Community College. The Olenics traveled the world and valued education. Their daughter-in-law, Peggy, teaches in the EL department at Upper Darby High School. The winner this year is Sumeya Muslim. The Kate Partridge Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is given in memory of Kate Partridge, special education and lead teacher at Hillcrest Elementary School. She is remembered for setting high standards for herself and her students, her love of family, moral character, and her bright smile. Friends, family, and colleagues sponsor this scholarship, and it is awarded to Cara Guire. The Lillian Picori Peters Memorial Scholarship. Lillian Picori was a 1922 graduate of Upper Darby High who thought of her high school days as happy memories. She was a leader and a doer, and her husband began a scholarship in her memory to be given to a young person who demonstrates service to school and has an interest in business. This year, the scholarship goes to Shiraz Khan. The Mark Phelan Memorial Scholarship. Lieutenant Colonel Mark Phelan was killed in Iraq in 2003 when his convoy was attacked by a suicide card bomber in Mosul. He was a dedicated husband and father who volunteered to go to Iraq and to help rebuild their economy. This scholarship goes to the wrestler with the biggest heart, Keto Shaw. The Almerin Paul Phillips Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship goes to the student whose participation in athletics or performing arts was characterized by exemplary contribution, superior worth ethic, dedication, and selflessness. Paul Phillips, a Harvard grad, excelled as a student and valued later in life the excellent academic preparation he received there. The winner of his scholarship this year is Jasmine Pierre. The Rejoy Reggie Memorial Scholarship. Rejoy was a young man full of compassion and selflessness. He helped at his Sunday school, in the center, at home, and with ELL students just coming to the United States for the first time. This scholarship is given to someone who embodies those characteristics, and she is Amber Kane. The Jonathan Schmidt Memorial Scholarship. Jonathan Schmidt was valedictorian of his class here in 1992. A graduate of Yale University and Yale Law 
and of the Woodrow Wilson School of Pub Public Affairs at Princeton. Jonathan practiced law here in Philadelphia, but lost his life to cancer at the age of 36, leaving a wife and child, Thaddeus, who was born three weeks before he died. His scholarship goes to someone like himself, very smart and service-oriented. The winner this year is Evelyn Schutzlein. The Brad Shainer Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is given in Brad Shainer's memory. Brad was Upper Darby's music man for 25 years before cancer cut his life short. His kid-like personality was a driving force motivating thousands of students, teachers, and administrators to pick up an instrument and join the band. Money for his scholarship was raised by the Shainer Run and Festival. The winner this year is Emma Speck. The Lewis O. Thayer Memorial. Mr. Thayer was a 1945 graduate of Upper Darby who excelled at art while in high school. This led to work in the window display business. He worked hard and saved his money, enough to give the Upper Darby Scholarship Fund almost a half a million dollars. His scholarships go to students who will be attending Delaware County College or Trade School, and the winners are Amelia Talon, Jasmine Nala, Farah Siddiqui, Shalene Naher, Roseline Corboy, Jasani Ruffin, William Joseph. Taveria Tillery, and Nijam Baswandri. The Class of 1962 Scholarship. In honor of its 55th reunion, the Class of 1962 is giving a scholarship to a community-minded, school-spirited student with academic achievement. This is a memorial scholarship and given to thank Upper Darby for the foundations of life. The winner is... Malachi Neal. The Class of 1963 Memorial Scholarship. To honor their 50th reunion, the Class of 1963 wishes to give their scholarship to someone who ranks high in their class and has given service to Upper Darby High School. At their reunion, it was suggested that a scholarship be awarded in remembrance of the wonderful times, excellent education, and inspirational faculty experienced by the class. The winner is Sabrina Ella. The Class of 1987 Scholarship. In recognition of the great memories and long-lasting friendships formed during their time at Upper Darby High School, the Class of 1987 is awarding this scholarship to a student who not only demonstrates excellence in academics, but also exhibits school pride. The winner this year is Mendel Maglasang. The Class of 1994 Scholarship. In honor of its 25th reunion, the Class of 1994 is providing a scholarship to a deserving graduate to support the pursuit of his or her their dreams. Many of the contributors greatly benefited from the support, kindness, and great encouragement from a number of faculty, staff, and administrators at Upper Darby High School in realizing their own goals and aspirations. The winner this year is Andy Dang. Hey Upper Darby, coming to you live from Fort Bragg, North Carolina, and more importantly, class of 2020. I know we're in some tough times right now, but we'll get through this together. On behalf of the class of 1997 and our scholarship, I'd like to present the scholarship to Kaya Shanks. Kaya, good luck in all your future endeavors. I wish you the best of luck on behalf of the class of 1997. In Shippensburg, don't ever stop believing, don't ever stop dreaming. Take care, everybody. The Class of 1998 Scholarship. The Class of 1998 at their 20th reunion wished to honor deceased members of their class by creating a memorial scholarship benefiting a member of the graduating class. The Class of 1998 left the halls of Upper Darby with long-lasting, loyal friendships and a genuine pride in their community and would like the winner of this scholarship to do the same. 
It is an honor to provide assistance to a rising royal, and we hope the graduating class will someday pay this forward. That's what friends are for. And the winner is Marissa Keeley. The Class of 2020 Scholarship. Scholarships in the name of the Class of 2020 are given to the following students for their service to class and school, athletic, academic, and musical accomplishments. Hard work and perseverance and positive attitude. The winners are Johans Nerga, Sydney Turner, Hanif Wilcox, Nicholas Sheldrake, Michael Green, Sonny Shoudery, Amira Alade, Shavante McGuire, Gabriella Vizari, Javon Powell, Aminata Conte. Olu Waleomi Awatide. Ada Okachuku. Anaya Briggs. Cass Connolly. Amara Simeon Dotis. Sandra Vijayan, Samantha Howard, Mackenzie Beth, and Victoria Manning. Good evening, Upper Derby High School Class of 2020. My name is Mark Comfort, and I'm the president of UDASA. Tonight I'm here to hand out the Upper Darby Association of Supervisors and, Admi and Administrators Scholarship. This scholarship was established in 1979 to honor graduates of Upper Darby High School and is funded by the district administrative personnel. The winner of the Udassa Scholarship is Ion Cinemed. Congratulations. The Upper Darby Educational Support Professionals Association Scholarship. The UDESPA Scholarship, established in 1994, is awarded to a student who has given service to secretaries, classroom staff, and students during his or her years at UDHS. The winner is Naima Dristi. The National Honor Society Scholarships. These scholarships are sponsored by the National Honor Society and are awarded to members who have given exceptional service to the society. They are Stephanie Miranda, Kanitha Fosavan Sitang, Mardia Woodson, and Haja Jalo. The DECA Anthony Fortuna Scholarship. This award is given to an outstanding student who has participated in DECA for two years, both in district and state competitions, and to, has done two community service projects sponsored by DECA. The Upper Darby High School DECA chapter, DECA alumni, and its former longtime faculty sponsor, Mr. Anthony Fortuna, provide the scholarship. The winner this year is Colleen Keck. The principal's scholarship winners were chosen for their leadership and dedication to Upper Darby High School in a variety of areas. The winners are John Cavanaugh, Isabella Trabasha, Jonathan Wang, Kieran Shazadi. Sophia Curian and Aaron Williams. Each year the scholarship committee is pleased to offer a number of scholarships to students for their combined class rank, financial need and service to school and community. 
The winners are Adele Henry, Isabella Smith, Brian Thatch, Kiera Harris, Imaria Osifo, Aliyah Lewis, Cheng Norn, Emily U, Emanuela Alfred, Sabir Ahmed, Maria Adams, Siana Dale, Jefferson Otuna Jimenez, Angela Kosha, and Gurpreet Carr. It is my pleasure to be announcing the last scholarships, but by no means are they the last in our book. Home and school associations have been supporting our children all the way from elementary school through middle to high school. This is their last effort to help our students by providing funds for college, and we certainly thank them. By school, here they are. Aronimic, Nathan Polidoro, and Connor Rankin. Bywood, Imani Johnson, and Maria Mu Tangara. Garrettford, Layla Ferguson, and Samantha Barrick. Highland Park, Wajiha Ahmed, and Bausia Hossein. Highland Park and Hillcrest Teaching Scholarship, Patrick Rankin. Hillcrest, Mia Lasky, and David O'Donnell. Charles Kelly, Shirgina Kasi, Primus Andrew Latini, Senko, Celine Santhosh, and Stonehurst Hills, Soledad Calderon Blemings, and Nelson Davis. Westbrook Park Home and School Scholarship, Cecilia Mazatenta, and Tyler Callahan. Beverly Hills Student Council Scholarship, Kariatu Maya. Drexel Hill Home and School Scholarship, Danielle Novino and Matteo Claudio. Upper Darby High School Home and School College Scholarship, Devin Conaway, Emily Thompson, Grace Ashton, Jonathan Stanzik, and Tara Gilligan. Upper Darby High School Home and School Leadership Scholarship, Isabella Collins, Lila Nakamson, Hannah Asaka, and Gaurapreet Singh. Upper Darby High School Home and School Performing Arts Scholarship, Genevieve Bruce. Upper Darby High School Home and School Votech Scholarship, Kayla Maxwell. Upper Darby High School Home and School Art Scholarship, Rachel Matry. It has been a privilege for me to watch you grow the past few years, who you are, and what you, what you do has taught me so much and made me a better person. For that, I thank you. 
You are such a special group of young adults. Tonight is a formal recognition of excellence that displays the accomplishments of outstanding people. You truly deserve the accolade you received this evening. There are several people I need to thank for making this evening possible. The senior center counselors who, are, who have worked very hard to help our honorees succeed. All the presenters for taking the time to make their presentations as special as possible. Aranda Buford and Jason Taylor for all their hard work and dedication to help make this event special and keep this tradition going in a virtual setting. The scholarship committee, Teresa Diamond, Michelle Alderasi, Joe Niagara, John Snow, and the senior counselors for the many hours dedicated to these awards. And a special thank you to Liz McDonald, the committee chair, who truly puts her heart and soul into our scholarship program. Thank you to Leah Tracy for all your help and organization. Parents and guardians, thank you so much for sharing your amazing children. Have a good evening.